Okay, students, I am trying to get this video recorded very quickly with no preparation before the eighth grade tours come back in. So hopefully I have everything I need right here. Um, but this is a bonus video for Metals and Glass 2 on how to take your pieces um, for your stained glass box and make them into a box. So you are going to um, solder each of your pieces individually, which I think I said at the end of the last video, um, but hopefully you understand that. So you're going to tack each of these individually and then just solder all the way around the seams. Um, and then you're going to get yourself a corner of a box, which I started cutting out today. Um, so hopefully you see those as well. And you are going to decide, oh, this is too many decisions right off the bat here. Which piece is going to be the bottom? You're going to stick it in this corner here. I don't like this. seems a little skewed. Um, and then you're going to take a couple of the side pieces, or let's just start with one. And we're going to solder them together. So I did this with my other box, so I'd have that ready to show you how to do the clasp. And it was a lot trickier than I thought. Um, I tried to do both the, uh, like around the edges, like where the sides went around the edges, and then I tried to do it where it was right up, uh, directly on top of the base, and neither of them worked as well as it did um, when I kind of did it halfway down the base. So I don't know if you can tell, but I have it kind of like, um, it's not perfectly even with the solder on this piece so that there's a little exposed solder so that I have an area to solder it. How many times did I say solder there? So I'm going to take my soldering iron and my solder and I'm just going to tack a couple spots here. I'm just going to like touch this solder to the piece so that it doesn't go anywhere. I don't like how it's lined up. Um, take the time to do this all first obviously. And I have a little thumbtack there. I think it could work right uh you're right take the thumbtack i was using that for something else and i thought it'd be no big deal if i just continued to use it i also did have some issues with my tape coming off so please make sure that you have it stuck on there really well. Okay, so now we're in business. So I'm taking my soldering iron and a little bit of solder and I'm going to very gently, because this is balancing very precariously, see there you go, fell right away. <laughs> oh dear, this is a disaster. No it's not, it's fine. This is how art works, right? If it was easy, everyone would do it. And I'm just going to touch this iron there to melt some of that solder so now it'll stay. So now I don't have to worry about it falling when I actually do the solder, okay? So do those two little tack spots first, and then you can take um, your actual solder. It's a little tricky to navigate with the cardboard, but you should be okay. And then I'm just smoothing it out. You'll smooth it all out at the end too. Okay, so that's kind of the gist of what you're doing here. Then you'll rotate this, right, a little bit, and then find your next piece. Balance that. Now it should be a little bit easier because there's more stuff holding it together. Um, and again, you can tack this corner here. Can I do that really quickly for you? Right, so just melt some of that solder together. 
and that'll hold it in place and then tack the bottom okay and you'll do that with each of the four sides once those four sides are on there together um, then you can go through and kind of find the areas that you need to like then I could do the outside so it reinforces everything and it's good to go okay so then you have your final box here's one of the boxes I made so that I could show you this step as well and I've already went through whoops um, and try to make everything look nice and neat and smooth I did not wash it yet I probably could I mean you could probably wash it in between it so now I'm just I want to make the lid where am I working so you can see this the hinges for the lid so I kind of have to decide um, is there a way it fits on here the best and it's probably this way okay so I'm gonna make the hinge back here by me so what I'm going to do for this is you need to use copper wire because we're gonna flux this, right? Just like we fluxed the copper tape. You're gonna take this wire, you're gonna use wire cutters to cut off a little bit. And the packet has um, like step-by-step -step visual aids, which I appreciate, I'm a visual learner. So, you know, I wanna have something that will show me exactly what I'm doing. But you're gonna take I want something skinnier than this. You're gonna take a thin pencil um, and make some jump rings essentially. So where are we? You're gonna have that wire hang over the edge. You need this extra wire. You're gonna loop it around tightly once and come back to that extra wire. And like I said, there's pictures of this, of what this hinge should look like, okay? So it looks like that. There's one go around, there's two pieces, and you're essentially gonna like pinch these and straighten them. So they're flush all the way down, okay? And then we need two of them. So you're doing that one more time. So cutting a piece of wire here wrapping it around and kind of making these so that the ends butt down. They touch each other, okay? And then I will trim these so one's not too long, okay? So we have a nice piece like that and a similar shape there. So they should match, right? Okay, then you will take the metal wire again and cut a length of it and we're gonna make the rest of the hinge. Um, so you want it to be a really nice straight line I don't know, just visually that looks a lot nicer. Coming across here, and then you can use your pliers. I'm not showing any video. Um, and you wanna just bend with the wires, the wire, the pliers. <laughs> so it's a right angle, okay? And then line it up here, and you're gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm just gonna grab it with my pliers here and just yank it. So it goes straight this way. Okay, you can see how nice that looks, right? Um, and then you wanna line it up on either side. And same thing, like you want it to be nice and even. You don't need a ton of this wire. So I'm gonna cut it here-ish and try to make it the same on the other side. Whoops. So that's pretty good. And then I'm gonna take my wire tape. We learned this trick a couple years into the project. Um, where's my, my copper tape, I'm sorry. 
and I'm going to just cut off with my scissors two pieces, just little pieces, and tape that together. We did just solder the wire there for a while, um, but it seems like the tape helps hold it in place and do everything, keep everything kind of secure. Okay. I know, this is going to be a long video. Oof. Okay. So I'm going to tape one side. And you're, you should clean the solder first. So that it sticks. Actually, I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use the tape. I'm going to forego the tape. So because anything, and you can use the tape if you'd like to. I'm just really running out of time here. Um, you need to flux anything that's going to get soldered, right? So I'm going to flux both of these ends, and then I'm going to take. Just where I just think I did all of that off camera. I'm going to take these little hinges that I made and put place them on there first. They don't have to be in the right spot. Whoops. So that way they're on there when I get it together here. So I'm just triple checking this is the right way. I'm lining this up. how I want it. Okay. And then I'm just going to do the same thing here. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you. But I'm just going to try to melt some of this existing solder. Or pick up some solder. Whoops. And get that... Ooh. Ooh, I burned myself. Get that uh, wire stuck there. And that did not work even a little bit. Okay, maybe it did work. So we're sort of stuck there. I think what's happening here, where's my pliers? This video is a disaster, it's okay. Um, I gotta do this without burning myself. I'm gonna open this up and make this a better angle here. Okay, let's try that. Okay. That is lined up how I want it. Okay, and just kind of attack there too. Then I'm gonna to try to fix this side. Um, remember that all of this is hot then, right? Because metal does conduct heat, so where I'm holding it on the glass, that's fine. Um, but if I'm touching this wire at all, that has definitely been heated up a little bit here. And everything needs to touch. Okay. Oops, working off camera again. Hmm.
Okay. I give up with that, I guess. Um, and then we're going to do a similar thing where you will place this where you want it. And then these hinges are going to go in the back here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. And I need to stop this video because I cannot believe any of you <laughs> have watched it this long. But essentially now, I'm going to take these hinges and line them up with the edges here and then solder them in place as well. So you can do this same thing with the copper tape. I can tape them down and then flux everything and solder it. I hope that makes sense. Like I said, there's very easy to follow along pictures in your handout um, and you can email me if you have questions too. I hope that helps.